Hi, welcome one more day to art with me, Spas. I hope you're all doing very well, staying home, safe. Uh, for this week's activity, we are going to need this materials. We're gonna need three tubes of toilet paper rolls. Okay, empty. Okay, we're gonna need three of these. We're gonna need water for you to wash your paintbrushes. We're gonna need orange paint. We're gonna need pink, yellow, and green. You're gonna need a recipient for you to uh, put your paints. You're gonna need permanent marker for decoration. You're gonna need a small piece of white paper like this. It doesn't have to be very big. It just has to be a little rectangle here because we're gonna draw something here. And last thing you're gonna need is a piece of a cereal box or any box that you have at home, okay? It has to be uh, medium size because we are going to paste the tubes when we are finished in the rectangle, okay? So they have to be able to fit in that uh, piece of cardboard that we're gonna need. So it can be from any box that you have at home. I found this one from a cereal box. Okay, something that I forgot to tell you very important is that when we are painting, we have to wear an apron to protect our clothes. Okay, always. So once you have your apron on, you're ready to start. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint one of the uh, paper, uh, toilet paper rolls. We're gonna paint one orange, okay? We're gonna paint the first one orange. So here I put my orange paint and we're gonna go ahead and paint it completely. The next toilet paper roll, we're gonna paint it yellow. And the last one, we're gonna paint it green and pink. You might be wondering what we're going to paint, what we're going to make. Well, you'll see very soon. Make sure that you don't leave any space without painting, okay? You have to paint the whole toilet paper and don't leave any space without any paint, okay? You have to be very careful with that, okay? Paint nice and beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and with our yellow paint, with a little bit of the yellow paint that we have here, we're gonna draw an X, okay? We're gonna draw like a sort of like an X. So we're gonna have a, a, a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom and a triangle on each side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to draw the X as nice as we can, okay? Go like this. A little hard, I know, but you guys are very, very creative. Okay, you can hold the tube like this, and you're gonna go from the top and all the way to the bottom. Okay, it has to be a diagonal line like this. Go all the way across. Okay, I'm gonna come down. Okay, so we have a line like this, a yellow line that goes all the way from the top to the bottom. And then we're gonna make one that goes from here to the other side, okay? So it's doing the same thing, but on the other side. You can start at the same distance where you ended um, the first line. Okay, the next one that we're gonna do is the pineapple. 
If you have uh, an orange marker, you can go ahead and work on the pineapple. Okay. The pineapple, we're just going to make lines that go across, okay? And then some that go to the other side. So we're going to start doing, we're going to take the diagonal line from the top to the bottom, okay? all the way to the bottom, creating a diagonal line. And once you've made a diagonal like this, you're going to leave some space and you're going to make another one. Okay, and you're going to go from the top to the bottom very carefully. Okay, going to do something like this. Okay, now I have two lines. And I'm gonna go all the way until I'm finished, uh, until I get all the way to here, okay? Then I'm gonna start making lines from the other side to the other side, okay? Okay, so we're gonna end up with something like this. Once we made all the lines from one side to the other, we're gonna stop and we're gonna make lines from here to the other side till we have uh, something like this, okay? Lines that go across each other, okay? Now that we have the watermelon, okay, this is the first, eh, sorry, the watermelon, not the watermelon, this is the pineapple, sorry, okay? The pineapple. Now we're going to make here on a piece of paper, on the piece of paper that I told you guys to have, we're going to draw the leaves for the pineapple, okay? So you're going to take a green marker, and you're gonna draw and you're going to color something like this okay you're gonna color it you're gonna color we're gonna fill it in and then we're gonna cut it okay we're gonna color because we're gonna need this at the end okay so make sure that you have this Okay, the leaves for our pineapple. Now, let's paint our watermelon. Okay, watermelons have seeds, okay? So, with our permanent black marker, you're going to draw seeds all around your watermelon, okay? You're gonna make some little drops. Okay, now, I'm gonna paint the piece of the cereal box that I told you before, okay? We're gonna painted on the side that we have the color of the cardboard, okay? I chose to use turquoise because it's one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna use this one. It's one of my most favorite colors in the whole world. I love it, okay? So now we're gonna clean our brush. We're gonna take, and we're gonna color the piece of cardboard completely. Okay, go ahead and paint it with this beautiful color. But you can do it with purple, you can do it with red, you can do it with blue. Depends on which is your favorite color. Okay, we're gonna paint this and then we're gonna let it dry because after that we're going to uh, get a little bit of glue and we're going to paste our fruits okay like this there we go okay let it dry for a couple of minutes and get a little bit of glue because we're going to paste the fruits okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut the leaves of the pineapple I'm gonna cut them nicely the first thing I'm going to do. Go ahead and cut them very, very well. Okay. I'm going to have something like this. I'm going to take a little bit of my glue. And 
I'm gonna put a little dot on the front of the leaf, okay? And you're going to paste this on the tube. Okay, this is gonna be the first thing. Okay. When my carton is completely dry, Here. Now I can add eyes and mouth to each of my fruits. Okay? If you want to do it on a piece of white paper, you want to draw the eyes, you may. Okay? I'm going to do it just to show you how. Okay? I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw two circles that have the same size like this. And you're going to draw a smaller black circle and there you're gonna have two eyes okay now that I made the faces to all of my fruit I added the mouth I added the eyes okay I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom okay look a little bit like this okay and you're gonna take your face so whether you paint it and you're going to paste each one of these in the rectangle. Just a little bit, okay? Go ahead and paste each fruit. Okay, just press a little bit like this. gonna let that dry for about an hour okay and make sure that that's completely completely dry okay why because this is gonna be a pen pot okay when this is all nice and dry we can use it to put our pencils or our markers or even our paint brushes Okay? But you have to make sure that it's really, really, really dry because if you put the markers inside and it's not dry, it's going to fall apart. 